obviously not the usual testing center. What gives? Today you'll be testing with an SCP object on loan from a distant foundation site. We use this facility for testing and storage of SCP objects and entities in our temporary custody. You mean like Iris? Yes, sort of. Though Iris wouldn't exactly fit in the locker over there, now would she? Please read the file placed in front of you regarding SCP-1602. SCP-1602 is a plastic shower curtain. As it only exhibits anomalous qualities when spread out, SCP-1602 must remain folded a minimum of five times when not undergoing testing. When spread and placed in a room with a single human subject, SCP-1602 will enter its active state and an extra-dimensional space will be generated behind SCP-1602. This phenomenon still occurs even when SCP-1602 is placed against a wall or other solid object. 5 to 30 minutes after activation, a faint light will appear behind SCP-1602, casting a silhouette of SCP-1602-A on the back of the curtain. SCP-1602-A, taking on a form that is representative of the subject's psychological insecurity, will draw back SCP-1602, facing the subject. SCP-1602-A will remain stationary for a brief period of time. SCP-1602-A will then approach the subject, attempting to restrain them and forcibly pull them behind SCP-1602. Instances of SCP-1602-A have consistently proven capable of outrunning, overpowering, and subduing subjects through non-lethal means. Once a subject is pulled behind SCP-1602, SCP-1602 will return to its spread position and re-enter its dormant state. If intercepted by another individual entering the room instead, SCP-1602-A and any physical traces of its existence will instantly disappear, and SCP-1602 will re-enter its dormant state. In roughly 10% of tests conducted with D-Class personnel, the captured subject re-emerged from behind SCP-1602 unharmed with no memory of their abduction. In the remaining tests, SCP-1602 spontaneously reactivated 10 to 60 minutes after the subject's disappearance, and an instance of SCP-1602-B was generated identical to SCP-1602-A, other than the fact that it persists even when contact is made with additional individuals. Excuse me? What in the actual hell is this? Your task today, D-9085, will be to interact with SCP-1602-A in whatever manifestation it chooses to present itself to you. You will proceed to set up SCP-1602 hanging from the ceiling and wait for an instance of SCP-1602-A to emerge. You are to attempt to engage it in conversation using the provided questions in the files before you. Should your questioning fail and it is able to intercept you, guards will rush the room, rendering SCP-1602-A unable to enforce any further harm. Understood? Yeah, I understand, I guess. Just make sure the guards are ready when this thing jumps me. Of course. They'll be ready. Now open the top drawer in the cabinet to your right and begin the test. And now we wait. Kill the light. This will help us better visualize SCP-1602-A when it appears.
my psychological insecurity some old man? Who the hell are you? Okay, Mr. Charismatic, let's try a different question. Where do you come from? What do you want? Let's play, pal. Excuse me? How about you loosen up a little and come here for a second, child? How about you answer one of my questions? Don't be so uptight. Let's all just chill out for a second here. Just answer at least one question for me and then we can play or whatever. What are you? Who are you taking the form of and how do you do it? Well, that's really three questions now, isn't it? Not fair. Not fair. Liar. Liar! You don't seem so scared. Not much. Too little. Am I not what scares you? No. That's not it. Have you repressed it all? Can't remember? That's no good. Loosen up, buddy. Decompress. Come a little closer. Share my air. All right, he's always not answering any questions. Shut this test down in here. Hello? We send in the guard, we're done here. Not done here. Not done. We've just started. Not even started, really. You still have to come. Closer. Here. Now. Let's play. Please get me the hell out of here! Call me Amos, sweet child. Let's go for a ride. Dark times. Amos rhymes. Have forgotten. But he never forgets. The foundation has hidden away all your regrets. Nothing but nightmares here. Nothing but nightmares there. You were curious, one. And you hardly know what you will have done. <laughs> Identify yourself immediately. What is your designated number? D9085. Chill out, it's me. Do I look like whatever that thing took the form of to you? Describe what happened to you. Well, I got taken by that thing thanks to you. Really appreciate the backup. Good thing I didn't need it. Just took a run in the middle shower. Nothing more, nothing less. Just a shower? Just a shower. A rather pleasant one at that. What happened to SCP-1602-A? How should I know? We didn't shower together, if that's what you perverts are wondering. Did it say anything to you behind the shower curtain? Not that I can recall. Like I said, I just took my shower in private. Well, I suppose that wraps things up here. Please exit the testing chamber. You'll be escorted back to your cell now. SCP-1602-A took? It didn't appear that he did. 
Unless he had some particularly deep shower thoughts, I doubt this interaction sparked anything. I didn't expect Amos to be his worst fear. Maybe we misunderstood the relationship. Not at all. It makes sense when you think about it, really. If you say so.